This is Debbie Porius. That's P as in piano, O-R-Y-E-S. And I'm going to be doing a series of instructional videos about how to play some jazz piano. Today we're going to, uh, I'm going to play you a walking bass line, which is really fun to do on the piano. You can play by yourself and still work on your timing and your groove. And it's going to be a walking bass line that takes four measures uh, with four quarter notes each, which is in a way the definition of a walking bass line. It, it's the quarter note. And we're going to be doing a dominant seventh chord with a couple of uh, commonly played um, voicings, chord voicings, uh, commonly played in jazz piano. And that is a dominant voicing with a nine and a dominant voicing with a thirteenth. Okay, so I'll play it for you a little bit so you get it in your ear, and then I'll explain to you what I'm doing. One is, um, well, to review what's a dominant seventh chord, a root position dominant seventh chord in F would be F, A, C, and E flat. So we have a major third in the chord, we have what we call a perfect fifth in the chord, we don't necessarily always play it, and we have a uh, E flat in the chord, that's the minor seventh, uh, a seventh that's a half step below a major seventh, and a whole step below the root. So in my right hand I'm playing this arrangement of the chord, which is another way to say what a voicing is. It's the seventh, that's the E flat, the third, that's the A, and the D, which we call thirteen. It's really the same as a sixth. It's a whole step above the fifth, and there's a lot of reasons people give why we call it a thirteenth. None of them are really very good, but in this context, most people will call this an F13 chord, so you have to kind of get used to the use of the language. So first I was playing that voicing. And making some little rhythms with it. And then I played this other voicing, which is the third first, which is the A, then the E flat, the seventh, then the G, which we call the ninth, which again is the same as the two, it's just a whole step above the root of the chord F, but we call it a ninth in this context for lots of different reasons. Um, but you can find it very easily by just thinking two in your mind. Line and um, from F to F and back again, and you can do it in some different keys and uh, some different um, dominant uh, chords. There's 11 other ones, and then you can work a bit on improvising against that bass line. There's a number of ways uh, to go about that, and one thing to remember about improvising, um, melodic improvising. Uh, is that a lot of people have a lot of different ideas about it. Some people think of the scales, some people think of the chord notes with other chromatic notes, things we call passing tones and neighbors, and some people just use their ear. And the idea is that it's supposed to sound kind of like the chord. Um, so there's a number of ways to go about this. 
One thing you can do is you can fool around with what some people call the blues scale, which is F, A flat, B flat, B natural, C, and E flat. And that has a history and a, you know lots of explanations, but those are the notes. And you can fool around with that, those notes while you play this walking bass line. Sometimes I say blue scale, but add the D, because the D is so groovy. See, so you see how I played a different note on the way up? It actually sounded pretty good. notes that go from one note to another note. And there's a really cool one between D and C. Oh, I didn't mess that up too much. I was so busy thinking about my little other note I played in the left hand. Okay, I'll do that again. I play a little different note down there. There's other possibilities. Um, and also I use this little A. And that's another way to think about improvising on a dominant chord, on any chord. Just think about the notes in the chord. So that A is the third and that C is the fifth and that E flat is the, is the uh, seventh. And I can use those notes to improvise with and I can pass, make a passing note. The G passes between A and C, I mean between the F and A, and the B flat passes between A and C. In fact, the B flat and the B pass between the A and the C. The D passes between the C and the E flat. So you can find some little chromatic things in there and passing notes that, uh, that still sound like F7. You can start just with those four notes and see what you come up with. Slapped up there to the A. with a walking bass line and I'll be back with some more of these little videos for your fun and enjoyment and development on the piano. This is Debbie Porius, Pies and Piano, O-R-Y-E-S.